For the past few months, players in the Rec Room community have been finding all kinds of cool things to do with CV2. Maps cooler than ever before have been released, and it is just so much fun. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to swim in trigger zones, with rolls, or just in the entire map in general. So to start off, you want to get out your maker pen, open palette, go to circuits v2, search chips, and search circuit board. Circuit board, there we go, I put it right here. Once you have your circuit board, you want to open your maker pen, configure it, go to chip settings, type in swim, add function. Now on swim, you're going to want to add three inputs, two floats, and one bool. There you go. Once you've done that, you can edit your circuit board and grab these two input and output and move them forward here. Once you've done that, you want to edit, uh, create, open palette, circuits v2, and search up get player, get local player, and put it right down here. Search up player left hand velocity. Put it right under get local player, player right hand velocity, put it directly under left hand, there you go. After that you want to get a multiply chip, multiply, and put it right down here, search up vector 3 scale, and put it right over here, get velocity, and put it right here. After that you want to get a vector 3 dot, put it right around here, get an add, and you want to put three of those here, here, and around here. Vector create, put it right around here, greater or equal, if expression multiply then if pure event receiver right here velocity add right here get local camera forward right here and I think that will be all the circuits you need for now, and let's get into wiring. So click wire on your maker pen, get local player, target left hand velocity, target right hand velocity, target get velocity, and the target of the velocity add. Next up you're going to want to wire the get local camera forward to the left vector 3 dot, and the get camera forward to the add on the very bottom. Next up, wire the left hand vector to add and the right hand vector to add and the sum of the add chip to the vector 3 dot. Wire the result of the vector 3 dot to the A in greater or equal. Then you're going to want to wire the B to the top port on the in. Wire the second port of the in to the multiply then the product to the vector scale. Next up, wire the get velocity to the value of the vector 3 scale, and the result to the add under the vector 3 dot. Next up, wire the vector create to the bottom add value, and the vector create also to the bottom add value of the second add chip, and the sums to the then and the else. Wire the result of the if expression to the direction on the velocity chip. Next up, you're going to want to wire the greater or equal result to the if expression. After that, you're going to want to configure the event receiver to a update 30 hertz, or the delta time to the upper value on the multiply chip, and the product of the multiply chip to the speed on the velocity add. Configure the lower value on the multiply chip to 10 and wire the then on the if chip to the velocity add. Configure the y on the vector create to 1, 
then configure the lower multiply value to negative 1. Then finally, wire the third port on the in chip to the condition of the if chip. Once you've finished all that, your circuit board should look something like this. Configure the first port to be negative 0.5. Then configure the second port to be 0.2. Once you have all that down, I guess you can just configure the circuit board to keep it nice and tidy and rename it Swim. Submit. Okay, there we go. Alright, let's go over to the main area of the park and I will show you guys something super cool that you can do with swimming and let's get straight to that. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to fill up that whole bowl over there. I don't even that whole field and we're going to fill it up with water and we're going to make it so you can swim in that zone and nowhere else in the map. So what you're going to want to do first is you're going to open your maker pen, open your palettes, go to gadgets, gadgets v2 and click on trigger volume v2 and make a little zone there. It doesn't need to be too big to start because we're going to do all the gadgets first then we can scale it how we want it. Configure this board in there and click detach from object so that you can grab that and move it to here. And I will move the trigger zone over here for now. We can come back to that later. Next up, you wanna go to Circuits V2 and search Roll. Player has Roll. Player add Roll. And play remove Roll. And the last thing we have to do here is Gadgets, Game Chips, then Roll Chip. Spawn in a Roll Chip, put it like right here, I guess. Configure that roll chip and modify the roll name to be swim. Once we've done that, we can configure the values on the play remove and player add roll to be swim. Swim. Now, so entering and exiting the trigger zone is going to give and remove your roll, which will allow you to swim and allow you to walk on land normally. So what we're going to do is we are going to wire player entered to add roll, target the player who entered the trigger zone, and then the same thing for exited. Player exited, activate this. The player who exited is the target of the roll that gets removed. I'm just realizing that I forgot something. What we're going to have to do is go back to circuits v2, get local player, put that right down here, wire the player to the target. Configure the value of the player has a role to be swim because that's the role that we are using. Now wire the player has a role value to the third port in the swim circuit board. And now this should only work when you are in the trigger zone. So let's go test it out really quickly after manipulating the trigger zone to be the size of the lake that we're going to build. And this should work. Alright, so here we are. I'm going to be a bit further away because I'm going to manipulate this and I'll be back in just a second. There we go, I have added the trigger zone. Next up, what we're going to do is get a decoration. Seventh page, I'm pretty sure. Yep, seventh page, glass. Spawn in a piece of glass. Uh, manipulate it like to be thin, I guess, so you can tell when you're in and out of the water. Move this all the way to the water. Okay, that looks good to me. Now I have to manipulate this into the shape of the trigger zone. Here we go. Either it works or it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it would work. I think I've set everything up correctly. And here we go. <laughs> I forgot. Um, okay, that's kind of embarrassing. I forgot to uh, make the uh, glass um, decorational. Whoops. Uh, pretend that that didn't happen, okay? All right, here we go. We can walk in here. There we go. We can swim across the top. We can't swim any higher than the top because it removes our roll and pushes us back into the water. And we fall back in with normal gravity. And hold on, let me just manipulate the trigger zone to be a bit lower than this. There we go, okay. We can swim down and we can swim back up. Jump out of the water, it pushes us all the way back in. We can dive back in, you can see our shadow flinging us out and going back in and we can just swim across the top if we wanted to as soon as i exit the water it removes my roll and now i can walk and jump normally because i am not in the water anymore next up what i'm going to do is show you how to swim across the entire map without all this complicated trigger volume stuff and i will show you that right away so here we go so delete all this you don't need any of this roll stuff this is all we need to have the whole map be able to swim
The only thing that we have to do in this is just get out your wire, then just tap on the bool here. Then it switches to true, I think. Yep, switch to true. And now, without um, all of that rolls, we can just swim right away and swim across the whole map. Swim as far as you want into the distance. Swim down if you look down, pull yourself down. Swim up if you pull yourself up. Swim to the sides. Any direction you look and pull yourself with your hands is the direction that you will go. And as soon as you want to turn this off, you can just tap that again with your wire tab. Then everything turns off. You can fall back to the floor and we are all back to normal. So I will quickly show you how to control the swimming here. All you have to do to control yourself is pull yourself forward with your hands. Just put your hands in front of you, then pull yourself forward as if you're actually swimming. You just pull yourself with your hands, put your hands forward together, then pull yourself outwards. You can keep on doing this motion and it will pull you all the way forward. We can just pull our hands and it will pull us in the direction that we're looking. Put your hands together, then pull to your sides. Yeah, we can swim up to the trees if we want to. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like as it helps me out way more than you would think. And if you enjoy what you're seeing, be sure to subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Let me know if you want more cool CV2 videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one.